There's an ice machine, you guys. There's an ice machine. So, I am moving. <laughs> this is so wild because it's the beginning of October when I'm filming this. Three days ago, this wasn't even a thing. I had no idea this was happening. But the way most things go down in my life is I get an idea in my head and then when that happens, I go with my gut and then I just kind of make it happen and here we are, three days later. <laughs> I'm a very impromptu decision maker, but usually works out. So this video is just kind of the start of my moving vlogs, moving series, whatever you want to call it, and to go through exactly why I'm moving, kind of the reasoning behind it, where I'm moving, what's happening, just all the details and everything. So here we go. So before COVID happened, I was planning on moving to New York City for a few months or just kind of TBD, see how it goes, or abroad. And obviously with COVID, you know, a lot of people's plans kind of got changed around and everything. So I own my place here and my plan with this place was never to, you know, <laughs> live in here for forever. It's an investment and my goal with any place that I buy is to ideally hold on to it for as long as I can and rent it out and have it as like rental income. That has always been my plan with this place. I absolutely love it. It's in a great location. It has an awesome view. So when I bought this place, it was kind of like that was my number one priority because I knew I wasn't going to live here for forever and I knew I was going to hopefully be moving out of Seattle soon. Not that I don't love Seattle. I've just lived here for a while now. It's been like I think almost six years and I was just kind of ready for a change. So I knew I was going to be you know, eventually moving out of Seattle soon. So it wasn't really like I was buying it for me. I obviously wanted to love where I was gonna be living for a couple more years, but I also wanted it to be something that was gonna be a good investment property and something that was gonna be easily rentable once I moved out. So because of COVID, my plans of moving outside of Seattle, I've kind of like gone through all of my options just as far as, you know, possibly moving to Portland, moving to New York, like just going through all of the options. And long story short, I'm not gonna get into in this video, I've just been going through some major stuff with health stuff and it's just gone through like a major decline. I haven't talked about it at all, but in the past three, four months, it's really like took a major dive and I've been going to way more doctor visits and stuff than I ever have in the past, like multiple week. And if you guys know Seattle or if you don't know, Seattle is weird with not only traffic, like we normally have a shit ton of traffic, but just with COVID and with more people working from home, even with that, you can be a few miles away from something and the mileage doesn't really matter. Like you can still be within Seattle city limits and be three miles away from something and it still could take you an hour or 40 minutes or whatever to get somewhere just depending on the route and stuff. Because I'm going to so many doctor's appointments every week and it's not just you know a temporary thing it's like i've been doing it for the past few months and it's going to continue on and all of my doctors are here in seattle i've been spending five to really like eight hours a week just driving to and from doctor's appointments not only that the commute to my boyfriend's house is 45 minutes away and again it's like the mileage is not far and that's still within seattle but it's just it's a lot of driving two things that we do really frequently. And so it's just been a lot of wasted time doing things that I need to do on a really frequent basis. And that's kind of like timing it really conservatively. I actually clocked one of my appointments the other day to leave my house, get to one of my appointments and then come back. It took me four and a half hours, like between the whole process. It's just a little insane. I already just am super strapped on time, just like, with the hours that I'm able to function. So it's like, if I'm gonna be, you know, spending that much time driving it, it's just time I don't have. So long story short, that's one of my top reasons is just being closer to all of my doctors and my boyfriend and Rach and like that kind of thing. Another main reason for me to move, which this sounds <laughs> initially bougie when I'm about to say it, but I'll explain is my place doesn't have a bathtub. <laughs> And it's not really just like a, ooh, I wanna take a bath kind of thing. It's like, that's one of the things that really helps to kind of like ease my pain a little bit is taking Epsom salt and magnesium baths frequently. And so again, it's like, if I do that, we have to drive to my boyfriend's house. And that's kind of like, again, a really 
big excursion just to go excursion <laughs> go do that a bath was like number one on my priority list with finding a new place and then just the space constraints i know a lot of us are working most of us are working from home right now because of covid there's just so much filming equipment and i'm sure you guys have seen like parts of the makeup in the filming room and stuff but i would just i would like to have ideally like a bigger place so the so the part that i'm going to be renting is actually about double the size of what i'm in right now and it's just one of those things that because I, not even with COVID, but just due to everything, I'm, I am in my apartment so much already. Like really my lifestyle hasn't changed a whole lot due to COVID. I'm pretty much in my apartment the same amount that I am, that I was before. So it's just one of those things where it's kind of like weighing out your level of comfort and if I'm gonna be continuing to go through all of these health things that I have been, you know, for years now, but just like continuing on with this whole journey and trying to fix everything and figure everything out, I would love to be a little bit more comfortable if I'm able to. And I know that that's like a super lucky thing that I'm able to do. And I'm very grateful that I'm in the financial position to be able to do that. And I recognize that a lot of people aren't. and. Um, I'm really grateful for that. But those are basically my main reasons. So that's why I'm staying in Seattle, just to, you know, obviously be by my boyfriend. He's not ready to move yet. Also, all of my doctors are here and just with COVID. And even if all the medical stuff wasn't going on, I personally wouldn't feel, I don't know, excited or comfortable doing a full cross country move or even just move to a new city right now because you can't really like take advantage of all the things that involve like exploring a new city right now or I wouldn't. So it just doesn't feel right to me to move to a new city right now. Like when I move to a new city, I wanna be able to really like do everything and explore and take advantage of that. And it just doesn't make sense to me right now. I would rather stay in Seattle for another year, hopefully in a year, you know, we're past the pandemic and I have more of my own personal stuff figured out and then we can reevaluate, you know? So it just feels like the right move. I'll have rental income coming in from this place and it all just makes sense. And as soon as I like had that plan in my mind, I just started looking. I toured actually only <laughs> two units in the same building. I was pretty set on the location just because it is so close to everyone I love and all of my doctors and just really great walking distance to everything I wanted, water, like restaurant, just everything that was important to me. The apartment itself is <laughs> so beautiful. I, again, just feel so grateful. So when you guys are seeing this video, I'll have just gotten back from Oregon. I'm seeing an, a doctor in Oregon, which is why we're going. And then my lease will be starting, I think like a couple days after you guys are seeing this video. So I think I will be able to do an empty apartment tour video before I actually do the full move. And it's super nice because this is the first move where there's like not a weird pressure. Like normally you're trying to time things perfectly where you have to have your old place like fully cleaned out and you know, perfectly everything gone and then moved into the same place like on the same day. But because I don't have an exact date, you know, this is my place. So I don't have to have an exact date where everything's out of here by. I can kind of like slowly get everything cleared out of here. I'll probably be painting the black wall. I'm gonna definitely take it down the wallpaper. So I don't have to have everything totally out of here by the time I move into the new place, which is really nice. So that just kind of like relieves a little bit of the timing stress there. I think I've moved on YouTube like four or five times so far. Anytime I move, I do moving vlogs. I am gonna try and document as much as possible for this move. It's pretty quick because it's just happening so fast right now. So like I said, when I'm filming this, it's the beginning of October. I'm starting like now to start packing and stuff. Just figure out what I'm bringing, what I'm donating, put things in piles. The new place is actually like, I wanna do a totally different style. It's a lot more white and bright. There's beautiful floor to ceiling windows. Like it's, it's, it's beautiful. I'm just, I'm in shock that like I'm actually moving in there. There's an ice machine, you guys. There's an ice machine. That's like ice machine and laundry. I am over the moon. What else? Some people might say if you own this place, isn't it a waste of money to, you know, rent another place if you own this place? So let me just address that 
in this video since we're talking about it. It's actually not, it actually works out to be pretty even, especially because if you rent, own a business and you work from home, you can write off a portion of your rent, whatever you work from, like as far as square footage. So because I am gonna be having the rental income coming from here, and then I can write off a portion of the rent in the new place, it's, it's not too bad. Also, just a tip, if you are moving during right now, there's actually really good deals on leases right now because it's not a popular time to move right now. So you can actually uh, bargain a little bit. So the prices that you see online aren't like the set prices. If you are thinking about moving or you have been looking, bargain a little bit, you might be able to get a pretty sweet deal. I actually got a <laughs> pretty killer deal for something that normally would have definitely not been in my price point. I'm gonna be selling a ton of my furniture and just like switching up the style is so crazy how different. I feel like my style and just decor taste changes like every two years basically. I feel like my style in this place is like a little bit more, I don't want to say boho, but it's like a little bit, I don't even know what, it's kind of like a mix. Boho, eclectic, I love the black wall, like I love my kitchen, like there's certain things I still love in here, but just as far as like when you guys see the new place you'll see what I mean, but it's just a little bit more contemporary, clean and I just kind of want to keep it that way. I just kind of want to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to have less like wicker, less, you know, boho kind of things. So I'm going to be selling a lot of my furniture and then just getting some new pieces. So that'll be fun. Lots of moving vlogs coming, which are always like my favorite vlogs to film and watch. I love watching moving vlogs. So there's like a balcony. So I think I'm going to be bringing some of my outdoor furniture, but repainting it maybe, doing a little painting project. I don't know. I'm kind of like going through what I'm bringing, what I'm not right now in my mind. Like I said, this is all <laughs> happened in like three days. So I'm kind of just like going through everything. I already got uh, moving quotes, packing quotes, like all of that kind of stuff. I did all of this yesterday <laughs> as far as like signing the lease, sending over all the documents, getting moving quotes, like all of it happened in one day. Oh, do I see myself staying in Seattle for, you know, longer than a year? Like I said, or I don't know if I said, but my lease is for a year in this place. After that, it's kind of to be determined. I don't know the future of everything. So kind of just playing it by ear, we'll see. Right now I, I am excited to stay in Seattle for this next year, just being in the new place, being in a different neighborhood. I've never lived in the area that I'm gonna be living in and it's completely different than any of the places in Seattle that I've lived. If you are unfamiliar with Seattle or if you're thinking about moving to Seattle, check out my Seattle, I have a few Seattle videos where I go like super in depth about moving to Seattle and just the different neighborhoods and everything. There's tons of different neighborhoods within Seattle that all have different vibes. Really looking forward to this. So I love you guys and I'm excited for the next moving vlogs and stuff. So I'm not sure the order of everything going up. Maybe you'll see some pre-filmed videos that will be going up you know, in November that were filmed in my old space and then like mixed in with stuff that's filmed in the new space. I'm not really sure yet. We're just going with the flow here, but love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in the new apartment. Bye.